Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. Today we are going to make oxtail the Haitian way. So I went ahead and cleaned my oxtail with vinegar and lemon juice. So it's all ready. And I just realized that I'm out of Haitian recipe. Haitian spice um, apis. So I'm going to make some really quick. I don't have all the ingredients, but I'm going to improvise. So I have some onions, um, red bell pepper, celery, green onions, and I have some dried parsley here. So I'm gonna throw everything in my blender right here, and then I will come back in a few minutes. I will also add some oil, some salt, and some pepper and blend everything together. Just before I blend, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of water to the blender. So after um, I finish blending my apis, I'm going to add at least four tablespoons of apis. To mix everything together like that now you shouldn't need to add anything else because there's already everything you need in the apis such as salt pepper and everything and I'm going to leave it to marinate for about two to four hours Okay guys, um, I ended up marinating the oxtail for about 12 hours because I ended up doing something yesterday. So today's another day and I'm getting ready to cook it. So basically I put it in a pot. Um, right now it's boiling and I'm going to add about 2 to 3 cups of water um, to the oxtails um, in order for it to cook as well I added a few pieces of beef because as you may already know oxtail is basically all bones and I'm pretty sure my kids will not um, be happy to be eating just bones so I added a few pieces of beef to it to make it more appealing to my kids so at this point you can go ahead and add the water and then you're going to continue to boil it until the oxtail is cooked completely okay so after about an hour to an hour and a half um, my meat is ready so what you're gonna do is divide your meat in one bowl and then the sauce in another bowl um, while waiting for the meat, you can go ahead and dice some um, onions as well as um, cut some onions for, for the sauce at the end and then some bell pepper and a hot pepper as well. So in the same pot that you were boiling the meat, you can go ahead and add one tablespoon of oil, olive oil or any type of oil that you want. Um, go ahead and fry the onion and as well as some garlic for about two minutes. After two minutes add one to two teaspoons of tomato paste. And then you return the meat to the pot. After about three minutes, you're going to to add your sauce to the pot. You're going to bring it to a boil.
Make sure you taste the sauce to see if you need salt or other spices. And at the same time, I will add my um, hot pepper. But just before, I'm going to poke a few holes in it before I put it in the sauce. So you're going to lower the heat um, to let it simmer. And the last thing you're going to do is to add the rest of the onions and the, the bell peppers. And it's pretty much all done, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.